Hi all, in this video we are going to learn about selection using switch case. Okay, so when to use the switch case, we have to um, figure out the, about the questions requirement. If you found that the questions is related to conditions or selections, and we have a fixed selections or conditions, then it would be good for us to use switch case. For an example, uh, let's say a program that will display the message you have enter an A. If user, user key in A and then you have enter B, if the user key in B, you have enter C if the user key in the C. Otherwise, the program will display the message you have selected are neither A nor B nor C. So in this case, it is very clear that the user may key in A or B or C. Otherwise, the message will be displayed neither A nor B nor C. This is a clear case. So when we transfer um, the statements into switch case, first thing we have to do is we must declare a variable so that we can store the input. Okay, in this case, we use character because the input will be either capital letter A, capital letter B or C, or others integers, um, or others uh, variables. Okay, so we can declare as character. And for the syntax, switch case syntax is in the bracket, the value, input value that we have declared in this case, and then follow with the curly bracket, open and close. Okay, so for the selection wise, we have to use case, C-A-A-S-E, and the selection. In this case, we have ABC, so ABC capital letter. And we have to use single quote because of character. Then follow with the double dot, and then see out the message we want. Don't forget about the semicolon, we close close the C out and then we have to put a break. So what is this break? This break is used to tell C compiler that if this case A is true, display C out and then stop. Okay, jump out from uh, the switch rule. Otherwise, it will go to the second case and then it may display the second one. We will, I will show you later on um, why we have to put a break or so, okay, in according parts. And don't forget about the default. Default is a must. So default, what will be happens? Default, what will be happens? And then we have to put a break and close it. Okay, let's try for the coding part. So the first thing we have to declare the variable, input variable or input value as character. And then we have to display the C out message to request the input. So we request, please enter A or B or C. That's all, A, B, C. Then we see in. We pass the input value to the input underscore value. And then we go to the switch case. So as the syntax said, it is a switch. Switch case. No suggestion. Okay, switch. Switch on. Okay, um, we just copy and paste the input value here to here. Switch case. So, what are the cases involved? Okay, what are the cases involved? Case A, what will be happened? We will be display the message. You have entered an A. Okay, don't forget about the semicolon and then break. So, we have to do it for B and C, change this to B, change this to C, and then correct the statements. We have entered a B, we have entered a C. And what will be happen with the default? If the default happens, 
then you have neither entered A or B or C. Right. Okay, so that's all. Let's try to compile and run. Please enter A or B or C. Let's say I enter A capital letter, A capital letter, enter. So it shows you have entered an A. Okay, what will be happen? Okay, what will be happen if I try with C? So it will show you have entered a C. But what if I enter a small a letter of A. If I and the small letter of A, you will found that it shows that you have neither entered A or B or C. Why this happened? Because we didn't use small letter. So in case if you want to use or consider both capital letter and small letter, you have, you have to enter another row here. You have to copy and paste and then change this to the small case. Okay, small case of A. So now when you rerun again, compile and run again, you put small capital letter A, small letter A, enter, it will tell you you have entered an A. So what will happen if it is not A, B, C in these rules? I Let's say I put 4, okay, which is an integer. Then it will show you have neither enter A or B or C. And then what will happen if we remove the bracket? Okay, this one, I remove it. Since you only need A, B, C. Let's say if I have forgotten to put a bracket and a bracket and a bracket. Okay, case A, B, C, no bracket. So when I compile and run the program, and I type A, enter, you will found that it will show you have entered an A, you have entered a B, you have entered a C, and then you have neither enter A or B or C. All statements have been displayed. Just because when it reach this statement as true, then it will immediately perform the second one, perform the third one. It will not break the loop for switch case. Okay, it will not check. Uh, no, it will check, but it just will not stop. It will display everything without a break. Okay, I hope it is clear for you. Okay, uh, let's continue for example two. Let's say that if you have a second example, a program that will display the following message. It will display one, the wording is one, if the user key in an integer of one. Two, two, the wording is three, after the user key in integer 3 and then 4 if the user key in an integer 4. Otherwise, the program will display message not 1 to 4. Okay, so in this class, it is also very clear that the user only will insert a, uh, sorry, the user only will insert 1, 2, 3, or 4 to display 1, 2, 3, 4. Otherwise, we have to display null 1 to 4. Okay, so when we change the syntax according, Again, we must declare an input and later on we pass it to the switch case. Okay, so same switch case, refer to this input and then open and close bracket. But now our case is not ABC anymore. We have to change to integer. So for integer wise, we don't put double quote or single quote. Okay, we only put number, integer one, two, three, four. And then we see out, don't forget to put a break. And we have to put default as well. And what will be happens after the default case. All right, let's try. Okay, now let's try for the second example. Second example is related to one, two, three. So I don't change a lot over here so that we never have to create everything. 
um, the declaration part it is not input input value but in case it is a uh, input number input number but it is not character anymore because we are going to um, use integer so I declare as integer please enter we have four choices one or two or three or four only okay so the input number that we have declared to replace it with uh, this one and this part and then now it is one two three four integer so for this case we change to one we change to two we change to three and four The message change to one. Two. Don't about the, don't forget about the break. Okay, what happened if it is not one to three four? not one two four okay let's try compile and run please enter one two three four only i enter three and then it will show three i enter two it will show two I enter 10. It will show not 1 to 4. Alright, so what happened again? Let's try if we remove the break for 3 and 4. So over here, case 1, it will break. Case 2, it will break. What happened with case 3? Bow and run. So let's say I type 3. As my input, enter, it will show 3, 4, not 1 to 4. So in such a case, it found that this is true, it will not break, and then it will go here, and it will go here. So what happens if it is case 1? Case 1, it shows or it display 1 dot, and then it will break. It should not display the other messages. Let's see. Please enter 1, I enter 1, and then it will display 1. So this is the purpose of using a bread. Let's try, and thank you for watching this video.